Welcome to the World of Saxophones with your host, saxophone expert Ruben Allen, presented by RubenAllen.com and WorldOfSaxophones.com. In these videos, we'll cover unusual saxophones, original saxophones, modern saxophones, and everything in between. In this video, Ruben talks about the Busher bass saxophone. Hi everybody, this is Ruben again. I want to talk to you a little bit about a bass saxophone. Now, this is a Busher bass saxophone, uh, which was uh, Busher and Kahn both used the same tube, but uh, had different key mechanisms. As you can see, this is four feet, almost four and a half feet tall, four feet, four inches or so tall, which gives a pretty good size horn, it takes a pretty good uh, amount of energy to hold it around your neck and play the thing. Um, as in the original bass saxophones, the bell is huge. You can see how big how big the bell size is. It has the B flat key on one side, the B key on the other side, which was a typical uh, thing at that time. And let me take it up here to the bench now, and I'll show you some of the other features. This particular bass saxophone has a silver plated body with gold plated gold lacquered keys. Actually, and I'm not sure if that stock. If the keys are redone and it was a silver plated originally, those are things I don't know. I don't have a complete history of this bass saxophone. Um, it does have a second brace from the bell to body. This, one, this was the original, and somebody added an identical second brace, I believe. I don't recall seeing that before on, on a bass saxophone. And as in all bass saxophones, it had a, a, this middle finger, third finger held down the E key, so you had a trill E flat, which of course has been shut off, which everybody does. Uh, the range was up to high E flat, uh, no articulated G sharp. Um, pretty much that's the standard uh, bass saxophone. And the neck on this bass saxophone in that period uh, had a brace underneath the neck, soldered along the brace. And I'm not sure if Busher and, and Khan made their own individual necks because they're, they're pretty close to the same neck. So I'm not sure if they if they made their own necks or not, but I, I'm pretty sure that Khan had the mandrel for the body and the bell. The original Selmer Mark VI bass saxophones were some of the worst bass saxophones ever made. They had no mandrel, so if you ever see one, you'll see big diamond pieces of brass soldered down the insides to try and make the notes play and things. I've owned a couple in my life and they were really Really pretty dreadful. So this is pretty much the Con uh, Con Busher the style bass sax. It came in under Wurlitzer, Buford American, many names. I think even Carl Fisher all had the same bass sax with their names on it in that, in that particular time period. Um, one of the other things that, that I do for this bass sax was I do make I do make a case, a rolling case that fits this particular model bass saxophone. As you can see. This case was designed for this vintage bass saxophone. It has a zipper, has handles for the to carry it here. It also has a handle at the top, so you can pull it as you as you walk along, and it has wheels at the back. Um, this is available on my website, RubenAllen.com, uh, and I'm by at the end of this year or early January. I'm trying to introduce some at Nam. I'm making this neck. I'm remaking this original Con uh, Busher neck. So they will be available for if you have old horns and you're missing a neck, those will be available uh, in early January. 